Now we have a heat exchanger, but this one is called a direct contact heat exchanger. Think about it. I bring in a hot fluid, it goes from one. I bring in a cold fluid, it's coming from two. And we only have one outlet, that's three. So the cold and the hot mix to create something that's lukewarm. And this happens a lot in power plants and other devices. So we have the mass flow rate at one coming in, two coming in, three going out. The flow exergy in at one, flow exergy in at two, and the flow exergy out at three. Let's go ahead and write an exergy. Well, do this first. Do a mass balance. I know it's simple, but what does the mass balance equation give you? The sum of the ins has to equal the sum of the outs. There's only one out. So anytime I see m.3, I can replace it with m.1 plus m.2. That's the utility or usefulness of this mass balance. If you wanted to, you could do an energy balance. Just let's do the energy balance. You're going to find H1, M.1, or put M. before the H. It really doesn't matter. M.1, H1, bringing with it its enthalpy, plus M.2, H2 is equal to M.3, H3. Does that equation make sense? We want to be able to read our energy balance. Start with the most general energy balance equation, write it, apply it to this control volume, manipulate, take a couple lines, and get to that result. But hopefully that equation is readable. Now we want to write it for an exergy balance. For what? This control volume. Okay, so what we're going to have is, is there any Q dot? Nope with the surroundings. So what we have is 0 is equal to 0 plus 0. We're going to have m.1 coming with its EF1 plus m.2 EF2 minus m.3 EF3. And do I put a minus E.D? Yes, we do. Stop, pause, did it look good? I have a plus in front of the in at 1, plus in front of the in at 2, a minus in front of the out at 3. That all look good? Good. Now, what I want to do is I want to substitute for this m.3 right there. What do I substitute? m.1 plus m.2. True? And then I want to rearrange it, and I know I'm going to try and do it quickly here. <laughs> Uh, but it's going to be m.1 times EF1 minus EF3 is equal to m.2 times EF3 minus EF2 plus E.D. D. I know I did it a couple ways, but I like to read from left to right. So what do we interpret this as coming in right here? The hot stream, think about, maybe I should draw it like this. The hot stream comes and goes like that. The cold stream comes and goes like that. And they're joined together at the outlet. And really what's happening is, is there's a transfer from the hot to the cold to get them lukewarm. We're in between, true? So what really is driving this thing or making it work is what comes out of the hot stream. Where does, the, where does the exergy go that comes out of the hot stream? It goes, guess where? Where? Into the cold. This is called cold. I know it's cold to lukewarm, hot to lukewarm, but it goes into the cold stream, true? And or it gets destroyed. No. Can you give me a good exergetic efficiency for this direct contact heat exchanger? What do we really want? What do we really want? And what do we have to pay for? What drives the thing? What is the expense? The expense is coming out of the hot stream. True? And what do we want? We don't want destruction. We want as much of that to get into the cold stream. 